Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully created one of the database and also we configured this database with our Laravel project, right? Great. So now in this video, I want to do, I want to install Laravel another default authentication. If you want to install the default authentication package, simply go to that Laravel official website again. And here you have to do, you have to go to that packages. And as I told you in Laravel, they have the dif different type of default authentication. You can use that breeze. You can also use that as a JD stream. But a lot of students ask me about it. JD stream is little complicated. So for that reason, I want to to install that breeze because here also we will create as a multi authentication system so i hope breeze will be very much helpful to you and that will be also very easy so now if you go to the packages simply go to that breeze and into the breeze area right now first of all that is our breeze default interface and now i want to do i want to install it like that is installation process and now we have to do we have to copy it okay so that will be as a composer and then laravel laravel breeze and deb is the developer mode i'll copy it and now in our project so you can also now run it from here like right now our php addition serve is running make so make that sure here you have to run that php addition serve you can also now create another new terminal okay here you can create on the new terminal so that will be our another terminal and also right now i'm using that uh, visual studio code editor from here if you also want to create another new terminal simply go to that new terminal then that will be loaded in here and you can see that is the same thing that is a project 6 and that is a real estate folder so you can write down all that command from to this area rather than you can also write down all that command from here okay i have shared both of this with you like right now for better i want to use this one here i want to install that breeze so that will be our first job here we have to do we have to run it i want to run it and now click as enter now that will be downloaded all that file from to the internet again it's very light one of the package so it will be installed very fastly okay here you can see it's now downloaded all the things from to the internet better you can see it's downloaded <laughs> everything is done here you don't need to wait long time that is successfully done so laravel our breeze is installed successfully so when laravel breeze will be installed after that we have to do we have to uh, publish it that means here there is a php addition breeze then we have to install so when you install it then it will be created some of the file i show you like here it will be created like right now we don't need it i close it in our app into the app http here it should be now created some of the folder as an auth folder our authentication that means if you go to that uh, routes and into the web routes here it should be created and the default some of the route and also into the resources area it should be created some of the page that means the some of the view page i show you like right now i want to simply uh, again run our another command as a php artisan breeze install okay i want to copy it and now again if you go here i have already installed the breeze and now we have to publish that means php artisan breeze install and now if you click as enter now you can see it's now that is also updated in laravel 10 here it will be asked you some of the question of which slack would you like to install okay here right now i'm using that blade syntax so here also hmm, they try to better make it a little bit late here so now sorry here that will be the hundred percent right i want to make, make it as a hundred percent and now that will be ask you some of the question like as a blade rather than react view and api so some of the time if you want to also install that uh, blade or react at a time you can run both of these as a zero or rather than one and right now i want to do to install only that blade so if you want to add that as a blade then that will be as a blade okay that will be as a blade or rather then you can also use it only as a zero okay then that will be also fine right now i name it as a blade now click as a enter and now our another question is uh, would you like to install the dark mode support right now it's totally fine i make it as a no and then the php unit also i better make it as a no okay now click as a enter now you can see there's a installing the building that node dependency so it may take little time now all that our default files that that i discuss about that things with you now that will be actually created now i want to check it if you now go to your project again in our web.php here you can see now that is actually created another some of the route so that is all the default things is now included in your project 
Now that is our route that means when you successfully log in you will be able to access the dashboard and that will be return view another dashboard is created they have some of the profile page that is the edit profile the update profile distribute profile that is everything actually ready made and also it's created another new controller as a profile controller which is fine and now if you go I show you now if you go to that app http in our controller here you can see now it's created one of the new folder as a auth and that is all the default file okay that is all the default file is now created and also if you now go to that our public into the sorry not the public in our resources if you go to that resources view and you can see here also it's now created some of the component for that is all the default component and also it's created or another folder as a auth folder so into the auth folder they have it's now created one of the confirm password page the forget password page locking page register page reset password verify email everything is ready made in here okay great and that is the another page as a dashboard now if you go to your project into the project now if you click as a refresh now you can see now our authentication is ready made so now that is a locking and there is a register so now if you go to that login and do the locking you can see it's now successfully created there's email password and also if you go to that our register now that will be our register page so that is actually all the page actually comes from here that is our view auth and that is a locking page that is a register page okay great now friend i want to do i want to also create one of the multi authentication system that means that will be actually multiple user able to access it like as a admin will be able to access it uh, another vendor or agent will be able to access it and also user will be able to access it so that will be actually multiple user can able to access that same authentication i want to create this type of one of the functionality so for the reasons here after that we have to do we have to actually migrate it so when you migrate in laravel they have some of the default database table like if you go to right now in our database and with the database there is a migration so into the migration they have some of the default table okay here you can see there is some of the default table as a user password failed so that will be generated all that our table in our database now in our user table if you go into the user table by default they are using that name email email verify ad and then password so right now friend here i want to do and to also included another some of the field then that will be actually helpful because as i told you i want to create one of the multi-user authentication system so here for that reasons better i want to do to take another field okay but i copy it and i want to do to take another field and i paste it i don't want to take another one like as a username okay that will be the username another field and this field also i make it as a string and also i want to do i want to better make it as a nonable okay nonable so that will be as a nonable i want to better make it as a nonable great nonable means if this field don't have any data it should be not give you any error okay for the reasons here i made or make it as a nonable great and also i want to actually create that multiple field like i want to add another one better i want to do i want to better copy this one okay i copy it after that password that is actually the default one will be needed as a name email password will be needed now i want to create another field as a username and after that i want to better paste it okay i want to add that multiple one because that will be also needed i want to take another field like as a photo okay photo photo so photo also i make it as a nonable great i want to take another field as a phone phone i want to take another one as an address and address better i want to better make it as a text type okay and then actually you can add that multiple data in here that means multiple character data in here so that is another field name i take it as an address great so photo phone address and then i want to do i want to assign another things as a role okay role will be also needed so i may make it as a role so by this role we can actually manage all that our multi-user authentication like for the role here i want to do here that will be not nonable here but i want to remove it so i want to do into the role area so okay into the role area i want to create the different type of user 
like here which type of the user you want to create you can actually assign it here i want to assign it first of all that will be as an admin that will be one type of the user and also i want to take another one i want to take another one as a agent okay that will be as a agent and also i want to take another one that will be as a user great so right now they have the three role one is the admin another is the agent another will be as a user and when any user will be registered by default which user you want to create so by default i want to do i want to make it as a user okay so for the reasons here after that i just simply want to allocate the default okay default and default will be which one default will be in here as a user okay i hope everything is very much clear to you here i simply take the three so one uh, will be as a admin another will be as a agent another will be as a user so by default i want to do and to allocate as a user okay and also i want to take another field as a status okay status 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 great and for the status i also want to do the same things here right now i want to do uh, better better i want to copy this one okay i copy it because that will be also a little bit same i paste it now our field name as a status so that will be the status and e status here i want to do i want to take two things so one will be as active active or either then that will be as inactive okay i may make it as inactive so that will be as inactive great so that's all that will be two type of one of the status rather than that will be as an active user rather than that will be as an inactive user and our default will be i want to do and to make it as a default user will be as active okay great that's all now i have actually added some of the field in here as a username name email the photo phone address the role okay the status as active inactive by default that will be as a, um, active and that is two of this field i want to use it as e name that is also another type i want to use it as a enum okay that is enum and also that will be as enum great great so that's all okay that's all will be needed i better i don't want to remove both of these mm, friend that's all okay so i simply added some of the field in particular that position so right now we can able to migrate it if you know click as a save all okay click as a save all and now also we have to update in our user that means in our model area if you go to that model into the model laravel also provided by default one of the model as a user model so into the user model you can see before that was actually the email name email and then password right here also you have to do you have to make it as a protected fillable that means this field should be as a fillable by the data so i want i have actually added that multiple field in here right now right so for the reasons if you want to make all that field as a fillable then they have also another easy way you can do this work then you have to do you have to make it as a protected guarded okay right now i want to remove it i simply remove it that will be as a protected and then the guarded z u a r d e d okay that will be as a protected guarded and protected guarded will be empty empty means that will be now whatever the data you have that means how many field you have every field will be now as a fee level so make that sure you make it as a protected guarded in our user great so then that's all you have to do now after that we are able to migrate and then all that our new all that field will be added if you now go to our database right now our database is totally empty if you now go i want to do and to migrate by this command as a php artisan migrate okay so i better copy it and now if you go there right now breeze installed and now after that i want to migrate it if you now click as a enter yes you can see our migration all the database table is now successfully created now if you go to our database now if you go to that structure yes you can see all that our default database table is created in our database because i have already connected this database with our laravel project and if you now go to that our user into the user area you can see that is actually all that field actually created right i have created so that have they have some of the default field name as a name now i have created added another one as a username and then the photo the phone address the role status great great so that is actually all that our default 
field okay default field and then there is a time span so by default that will be actually created that created and updated that so here we successfully done this job so that is our user okay great so now friend in our next video i want to do as i told you i want to create that uh, multi-user authentication system so for the multi-authentication uh, user authentication system first of all i want to seed some of the data in our database table okay so into this database table area i want to see some of the data so how to do this work better i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video